And we're live. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to an extreme, extreme edition of Wrestling With Trivia. Tonight, we have a title match. The number one contender, Kevin, taking on the current reigning and defending champion, Dexter, as both men were not aware, because I don't tell anyone anything. <laughs> Kevin's been on a one hell of a streak, defeating guys like me, Corey, Wills, putting them all in the dust. But Dexter's done that, too. And that's why he's the current champion. So tonight we figure out who is the true master of wrestling trivia. Introducing first all the way from across the pond in the UK, he's so far the unstoppable Kevin B. Hi. Hello. And his <laughs> opponent, the also unstoppable, your reigning defending champion of WWT. Will someone, anyone, give him his sweet, sweet death? It's the Scottastic Dexter Beckett. Hi, uh, how are things? Good. All right, Jens, you know the game. You guys both have been masters at it so far. I got 20 questions for you. Give me some answers. Starting with question number one. What is the only year in WWE history where the WWE world title changed hands in the ring more than 10 times? Is this the... Big gold, or the this isn't the big gold, but this is the WWE championship. The main title, yes, sir. The main title since day one, as the okay. Usos would say. Day one ish. A year, yeah. <laughs> I hear South Park playing in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> I currently have Casino Royale on in the background. That is a good film. It's the first, uh, well, no, I did see a Pierce Brosnan movie. It's the first James Bond I really liked, though. <laughs> so you said it was the most, it was the year that had the most title changes. Technically, yes. Numbers. It was the only year that it's happened more than 10 times. So, yeah, technically the most. Kevin's in. Waiting on the champion. I like that you called me the champion. <laughs> I appreciate that more than you'll ever know. Will it be the last time I call him that? Dun -dun -dun -dun. Wow. In I said, will it be? I'm just giving up like hype. That's all. Fine. I'm in, by the way. I'm all right. All right. Kevin, what you got? Uh, 1999. Dexter Beckett, what do we have? You both have on the head. 1999 is indeed what I was looking for. You couldn't keep that belt on somebody in 99. I think it changed, it changed, changed hands twice in January as well, so it was a good start. Oh. What is the name of THQ's first video game on the Nintendo 64? Kevin's in. Dexter, what you wearing today? Huey Lewis is back on the news. All right, that's good to know. I'm repping my good friend, uh, Zach Monstar. You can find him at Real Pro. Someday, maybe he'll murder Dexter in a death match. We'll see. Yeah. Dexter, what you got? I got a WCW NWO World Tour. Kevin? Oh, I put WWF Warzone. Oh, I was sadly looking. Not sadly. I'm, I'm partial, I swear. I'm looking for Dexter's answer as he gets uh, a certain point. <laughs> I didn't mean to say sadly, not that I'm biased at all. The question they, had a lot of, uh, they had a lot of random, uh, like the, what was it, the unlockable characters on that game. Yeah, yeah. I think I always had to unlock them. I don't know if I had a memory card, so I always had to unlock them if I wanted them, I think. Right. <laughs> Uh, a lot of them, though. Even that, that Thunder one on PlayStation had like a bunch. Um, oh yeah. Who ended Santino Morella's second IC title reign at 85 days? Also, on a side note, this would be this is a multiple time champion's last reign. So you got a couple, kind of a couple hits there. Okay. That is some high quality H two O, as Bobby Boucher would say. I could use a good cold glass of water as well. I can't oh. fault you. 
sometimes, man, like, as much as I love my soda, sometimes it's like, ooh, icy cold water, nothing better. Oh, for sure. Uh, I'll also give you a third hint. The answer, not Kerwin White. Uh, now I have to change my answer. Thanks a lot. You know, you make fun of me doing the same joke. You always have the same response. <laughs> I think we've been doing this together entirely too much. Hey, Dexter, who's on first? I don't know. Who's on second? <laughs> What's on third? Yeah, you can tell that Daniel Craig's been doing it for a while. It was so much younger in this first one. <laughs> yeah. Are we in, gents? Uh, yeah, I'm in. Yes. Kevin, what you got? I'm not sure if this was the first one or the second one. William I'll Regal. Know. Dexter, what you got? I concur, William Regal. You concur, and I concur with your concurrence. Both of you getting some points on the board. William Regal, indeed. His last time as IC champ. Number four, three to two. Still a tight, tight game. Who was the first person to be named in both the WWE and WCW Hall of Fame. And yes, anyone at home that's wondering, there is indeed a WCW Hall of Fame. There is. That didn't <laughs> last very long, not that many names in it, but it's a thing. It is in fact a thing though, you are it's correct. A thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to take an educated guess. <laughs> there, as will I. <laughs> Could it be Chavo Guerrero or Lieutenant Luca, Loco? <laughs> Huge erection, not huge erection, a general erection. <laughs> general erection. Could it be um, G.I. Bro? Could it be Lenny Lane, Lodi, Lash LaRue, El Dandy? El Dan, who are you to question? <laughs> Cyclope. Silver Cyclope? King. Cyclope, damn it. Is that what you meant, wrong. Cyclope? Yeah, I meant Cyclope. Uh -huh. Um. Man. All right, here's my educated guess. <laughs> mm, I keep. <I've... laughs> I wrote one down, didn't like it. Wrote down another, didn't like that either. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I've written two. I've written three things down, and I have to narrow it down to one. So I've got to go with my. Go. Um. Okay, I got a guess. Yeah. Okay, so what you, you thinking? Uh, I'm going with Inoki because I know there's a couple guys, Antonio Inoki. I know there's a couple guys on that list, but I'm thinking first would be Inoki. Kevin? Well, first I thought Ric Flair, but then no, he hadn't retired, so he probably didn't go in WCW, which then I thought Hulk Hogan, but again, the same problem. But then I thought Dusty Rhodes went on commentary so he was retired sort of so he well don't worry gents neither one with points on the board the answer is actually big cat ernie lad oh that makes a lot of sense first one <laughs> even more slightly more obscure than your guesses both good guesses though. i like either you both use logic but yeah ernie lad is fun fact the first one in both that makes a lot of sense like a lot of sense yeah well once you hear it you go oh, okay yeah that checks out yeah. Number five, who attacked Vince McMahon on a June 2001 edition of Raw in Madison Square Garden? This technology, man. These glasses follow you everywhere. It's really good technology. I turn with you as well when you turn slightly. Yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to keep up and just having such a difficult time. Well, you over action. I'm trying to think because I feel like I can't remember if that feud was going on at the time or not. But I'm going to say that it did. Okay, I have a guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Kevin. I'm with you on that. Like, ugh, what could it be? Uh, 
I don't like my answer, but... <laughs> yeah, Kev. <laughs> yeah, same. I don't like mine. I've got one. Give it to me, Kev. The Rock. Give it to me, Dex. Booker T? It was Booker T. <laughs> Dex pulling it out. He's allowed at least two pullouts every game. <laughs> That was not one of the pullouts. I felt confident because I think that was around the invasion oh. angle. I had oh, a little okay. more confidence in that one than I did. Oh. Like he has two, two more I... where he's allowed to just pull it out of the ether. Uh, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> hmm. Number yeah, six. <laughs> Who substituted for Brian Pillman at Clash of the Champions in 1993, August, to team with Steve Austin? Oh, shit. Clash of Champions. Uh... I remember someone replaced him in Halloween Havoc. I just don't know if it was the same person. I couldn't give you the hint if I wanted to. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, um. Dex are currently in the lead with two points, four to two here. Thank you. Question number six. Man. Who substituted? I was going to say the loose cannon, wrong gimmick. <laughs> Flying Brian. <Wow. laughs> Flying Brian, Hollywood Blondes. Yeah. Oh my God. I know what episode's playing out there, and I'm laughing in my head. What episode? Uh, it's the episode where Ike sees dead people and Billy Mays is haunting him right now. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> in just two easy steps, I can hop over these seats and kick you square in the fucking balls. And now we're rated R. Yes. Uh, That's what I do. I bring it to rated R. Balls can't at all show time. my nieces and nephews this episode. I was looking forward to showing my kids. Yeah. <laughs> bleep me. Please bleep me. No, that takes effort and editing. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm going to show your nieces and nephews that you don't have effort. <laughs> All right. I got to put an answer down before I crap myself here. Crap is not a vulgar term. It is, you know. Oh, I'll, I'll allow crap. <laughs> okay, good. Here I was worried. I right, give me a crap and answer, Dex. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just asking for an answer. That's how the game works. Yeah. And don't tell me to do my job. <laughs> <laughs> that episode is also great. All right, I have a guess. Give it to me. All right, so I know Dr. Death Steve Williams was a replacement uh, at Halloween Havoc, but I recall Lord Steven Regal was a replacement. Kevin. Ah, you both pulled it out. Second time on this episode, Mr. Regal has popped up. We share a birthday, me and Lord Stephen. Sweet. What is that? May 10th. May 10th. Happy birthday to you both on May 10th. I'll remember that for next year. Thank you. <laughs> Good. <Yeah. laughs> it's in the mail. <laughs> Number seven. What was the first non-WWF title to change hands at a WWF pay-per-view? Ooh. Oh, Kevin's in. Okay. Dex is in. in. Yes, sir. Kevin, Kevin, what you got? I, I've got NWA Tag Team Titles. What you got, Dex? That is also what I put. Ah, I'm glad you both had it, but you're both wrong. The uh, answer is, Smoky, is Mountain? Smoky Mountain Tag Team Titles at the 1993 Survivor Series. That's exactly the match that I was thinking of as well. I know exactly yeah. the same thought. Oh, I bet yeah. it was the Smoky Mountain Titles. As I'm writing it, I'm like, man, that was like 98, 97. That I think the Headbangers won the NWA titles, but that might have been Raw. Eh, it might have been Smoky Mountain. I'm going with my guy. Oh, well. I will admit to both of you, I would have been right there with you, so don't feel bad. Because, yeah, I, I would have went, okay, probably, yeah, when they were doing the whole Bodacious Bob bullshit. Bombasting <laughs> Bob and Bodacious part. 
So I, I was yeah. thinking of the right match. I was just thinking of the wrong belt. Ah, I knew it was you were even closer then, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah I, I knew it was having the bodies in the uh, Rock and Roll Express. But yes, sir, you nailed it. Uh, number eight here. Who did Chris Benoit defeat to win his only WCW World Championship? Got it. Yeah, I, I kind of. I was gonna even say. I feel like you guys might have eight. Kevin, you in? Yeah. Dex? Yep. Show me. Sid Vicious. What you got, Kev? Sid. Sid. Six, four on the board. Question at number nine. What NXT match was voted the best American-based match in 2015 by both Pro Wrestling Illustrated and The Observer? So see if you can remember your 2015 NXTs. Who was it NXT in 2015? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. I have an answer. Do I just need the people in the match? Yeah, give me. The, I'll give you help. Um, it's not a trick of any kind of sort. So one on one, if that helps, just give me the two people. Cool. Yeah, that helps because I had a couple other matches in my. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm not looking for anything specific, like a three way ladder or nothing like that. Cool. Gotcha. I think I. Yeah, I'm happy with my answer. I just couldn't remember if there was any sort of special thing to any give matches. Me. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Nah, just give me, give me the two people. I'll be happy. What you got, uh, Kevin? Um, Sasha and Bailey. What you got, Dex? Sasha Bailey, Takeover yeah. Brooklyn, I'm guessing. Good for you people. And also, yes, Takeover Brooklyn. Number <laughs> 10 <laughs> here. Halfway there, living on a prayer. Seven of five, Dex seven. There it is. What Hall of Famer, WWE Hall of Famer, who made his WCW debut as a January 1994 Clash of the Champions? Tell me again. What was the question? Yeah. Absolutely here. Which WWE Hall of Famer made his WCW debut at the January 1994 Clash of the Champions? Mm. Kevin's in. Yeah. Next is Pondering and that massive trivia knowledge brain of his. Because normally five points at this stage in the game, I'd be two points in front of someone. <laughs> Kevin, not used to being in the, the the following position. I've got as many right as normal, but I'm, <laughs> I'm two points behind. That's why you're facing the champ now, Kevin, the champ. Moving on up. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Dexter, what are you in with? I'm in with it. It's not even a wrestler. It is Bobby the Brain Heenan. Kevin, what are you in with? Every time he does this. <laughs> you both knew what I was getting at. It was Bobby the Brain Heenan. Eight to six. Still a close game. Number 11. Let's go back now to TakeOver Brooklyn. What opened, what opened TakeOver Brooklyn? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, it's magic. You know. Never mind if it's not so. It's magic. 
And now we're gonna get this video taken down because we sang too much. No, we did not. <laughs> I don't know, you never know. Uh, I was just reading out of the office, uh, had to pay a lot of money because uh, Steve Farrell says, two tickets to paradise. And that was enough for that guy, uh, what was it, Seeger? <sighs> Weiner. Uh, that was uh, Eddie Money? No, Eddie Money? I don't know. That's why I was asking. But it was enough for him and his people to go, all right, uh, we need some money for that. <laughs> all right. I'm, uh, I'm in. What, what do we got? I'm Kevin, in. what do you got? Uh, uh, Tyler Breeze versus just Liger. I'll be nice, but what did you say, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> I just said Liger. <laughs> he said the right answer is what he said. Uh, I'll be nice. He, he said Breeze and Liger. I said more. <laughs> so you, know, watch, yeah. you, should, you should know your Japanese legends there, Kevin. You're in a title match, for crying out loud. Nine to I seven. Call, I might have said he was called Justin. <laughs> no, Justin like... Tinder Liger. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, question number 12. I'll be up front and actually let you know this is not a wrestler. Uh, <laughs> what ring announcer debuted for the WWF in August of 1999? Ooh. Ring announcer. Still at a two point gap here. Both men just Kevin's in. All right, what we got, Dexter Beckett? Probably wrong. I just put Michael Buffer because I know he worked for WCW, but I just didn't know if they might have got him once. Mm, good point. Kevin? I think it was Lillian. Garcia. Yes, indeed. Kevin gapping that gap here, pulling up oh. another point. Eight to nine currently. As we go on to question number lucky 13, going into the land of, well, you'll see. Who did AJ Styles win the NWA tag team titles with and TNA? Which time? Good point. First time. Thank you. <laughs> Number 14 is a fun one. It's the first time I've ever done a question like this, so I look forward to 14. Dexter in, I think? Yes, sir. Kevin, yeah, are we in? Yeah. Dexter, what we got? Uh, the greatest wrestler of all time, Jerry Lynn. <sighs> Kevin, I am have a feeling. I, I don't know with you anymore. Oh. Uh, Dexter, luckily, he specified which one. Getting that two-point advantage again now, 10-8. Eight. Eight. He had him with and, three people. First was Jerry Lynn. I second knew, was I, Abyss. I knew then, it was Jerry Lynn. <laughs> Yeah, but Abyss, was I was remembering it was them first nice. few shows, and I was like, oh, he had lots of battles with Christopher Daniels. And then I was like, oh, yeah, as soon as I saw Jerry Lynn, I was like. Well, yeah, when, he, when they got on television, when they had cable instead of uh, the paper, those Wednesday pay-per-views, yeah. It was Daniels for sure. Number 14 here. This is a first-time question we've had on the show. Okay. Uh, first, I want to ask this, and this is just so you can just make sure you say it out loud, I don't mind. We are both aware of all four members of Undisputed Era. Correct. Kevin, you know what I'm talking about? The four Undisputed Era boys? Okay. Yes. I want you to rank them in order of their Ring of Honor debuts. Like who came first? Who came first? Who came second? Who came third? Who came fourth? I feel like he was there and then he left and then came back again because it's just. And this is my literally first match. So, yeah, it's not a trick of like, when did they start full time or now? It's very first match they had, even if there is gaps. Okay. All right. 
Dexter is in. I might do this question again. I like this question. Yeah, I, I mean, it's. I mean, if you do this with other factions, it's yeah, a great question. That's it's what a I'm saying. Question. Yeah, yeah, like, it's a great like, question. DX or something. Yeah, I'm just saying this has a lot of. Uh, well, it's not a huge faction, like three or four people. Right, right, right. <laughs> when did Nexus debut? True question, all at once. <laughs> all at once. I was there in Miami when they uh, attacked, when they debuted. Was that Miami? Yeah, yeah. Did you tell Daniel, no, don't choke him on? I was excited because I knew he was going to go back to the Indies for a little bit, and he wrestled Eddie Kingston. I remember I was hyped about that. I remember he wrestled one of these four people, but I'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, <laughs> oh, he did. He did, yeah. <laughs> Kevin, are we in? Yes. Kevin, show me your list. <laughs> We go strong, we go O'Reilly, we go Fish, we go Cole. Dexter, show me your list. You want uh, Ronnie, Fish, Cole, Kyle. Dexter gets another point on the board. Wow. That is 100% correct. Uh, Roderick Strong pretty early on, 03. O Fish and 04 under Jerk Jackson, not even Bobby Fish. And then Cole defeated O'Reilly by several months in like 09? 09, 08, somewhere around there, yeah. Something like that. I, I, look, I looked it up, but I didn't write it down, but yeah. yeah. Okay, number 15. Speaking of Adam Cole, baby, yeah. who did he defeat to win the vacant Ring of Honor world title, his first Ring of Honor world title as well? So not necessarily a former champion, but maybe he's a former champion. So basically, never mind what I just said. <laughs> trying to get in your minds you think, you think J James Bond was ever just like a girl's friend like does he have to have them all uh, he never slept with uh, I believe he never slept with Moneypenny oh uh, what movie is that well Moneypenny is the yes she was like the uh, secretary to M and she was always like waiting her turn so to speak so I mean, he would always give her the flower here and put stuff better on the cheek. So what movie is this? Most it's like all of them. Oh, okay. She's in like most of them. <laughs> oh, I guess I don't pay attention. Uh, yeah, we had that discussion a couple times. <laughs> is that who I'm the? Sorry, I can't think of her name. Never mind. <laughs> all right, welcome to James Bond trivia. Okay, Dexter, what we got? Big Mike. What we got, Kevin? Rodney Strong. Oh, it was Big Mike. Jay Lethal got hurt, had to vacate the belt. They had a big old tournament. The finals was uh, Elgin and Cole. Question number 16 for you. I'm trying to think if I should make this harder. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make it harder. Okay, question number 16. Name at least two. Of Tommy Dreamer's three ECW Tag Team Championship partners. Okay. I originally had one, and then I was like, no, Dexter's playing. I immediately, <laughs> oh. I, I immediately can think of one. I, I just can't immediately think of two, so I'm going to go through the tag team. <laughs> Got to go through the Rolodex. Go through it, man. Uh, you said Jay Lethal, Dexter. By the way, it's Jay Briscoe who got hurt. Did I say Lethal? I swore I said Briscoe. You said, no, you totally said Lethal. That's why I got confused. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah, it was Briscoe for sure. So, unfortunately, your point is deducted. Uh, you have 11. <laughs> you're, the, you're just always looking for a reason to take me out. I'm just joshing. Who's Josh? All right, I believe we're both in. Correct. Yes. Dexter. I put all three. Raven, Masato, oh. Tanaka, and Johnny Gunn from He's Houston. Sick son of a bitch. Oh. Kevin, what you got? All right, both points on the board. Yeah, I just I figured Johnny Gunn, I didn't know if people were going to get it, so I left him off. Not off, but well, I said two or three. Two of the three. You knew that we would have gotten Raven and Tanaka for – Well, I didn't even in know. Comparison. In comparison. I put it up to two because you guys are fierce right. competitors. If it was a different match, I might have stuck with just one. 
because they're all kind of odd partners. You know, Raven's the enemy. Tanaka and Dreamer doesn't automatically come to mind unless you remember. So if you knew the story, uh, yeah. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, just, you know. So, uh, yeah. thir- 13 9 is going to question number 17. At WrestleMania 18, the hardcore title changed hands five times. Name at least three. Dexter's going to put all five, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't think that. No. Okay. Just trying to remember what calendar year WrestleMania 18 was. 2002, I'll help you. 2002. Because weirdly enough, I'm actually better with years. I don't know why. I'm really good with years with like everything in my life. Like just, I, ca- I categorize everything by the year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. No, that's why like, whenever people like WrestleMania 17, I'm like, hold on, let me get a year now. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like I, I don't necessarily refer to it as 18, 19. 20 helps just because I remember the 20 on the DVD. So I go, oh, four. But other than that, I always got to go by year. What, what was the question? What was the? Absolutely. WrestleMania 18 in 2002. The hardcore title changed hands five times. Name three of them. So I'm talking about the title changes, not who walked in as champ necessarily, but the five times someone pinned someone to win the title. Give me three of those. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Dexter, we got two tickets to Paradise. Do you have one of them? Yes. I have uh, Christian. Christian pinned Mighty Molly, Mighty, Mighty, Mighty Molly. Mighty Molly pinned the Hurricane. Maven started the night as the champion and ended the night as the champion. All right, what do we got, Kev? Well, I have two of them, and I think the third one was Spike Dudley. Maven, Christian, and Spike. Yes, you both are indeed correctly. Uh, that's uh, 14 to 10. I remember Christian when he was in, the, in his car with the belt or something going, yeah, I've got to, and then he got attacked by Maven, and Maven stole his car as well. The first, for- title, the first title change is Spike, and then Hurricane comes in with a rope to pin Spike. Molly Holly was it a frying pan for her win. Christian hits her with a door, and oh, right. right before Christian can leave, Maven uh, school like rolls him up and then just leaves. Steals his car. <laughs> yeah. Steals the fun fact car. was that the match was originally Gold Dust and Maven, I recall. Yes, yeah, Gold Dust is in the actual in ring match, and then yeah. you also see appearances by Al Snow, Godfather. Oh, uh, God. Uh, yeah. Al Snow drove the freaking go- uh, mm. golf carts through a giant wall of cardboard boxes. <laughs> yeah, little, I remember. Went for it. I do remember that. <laughs> number 18. Oh, Crash Holly, too, actually. Yeah, there's several people going for it. Uh, number 18. Who became the ECW World Champion in the final bout to be contested under barb wire rope rules? Okay. Dex is in. Putting in another uh well, you want to match your match match your score. If you get these if you get these what's your what's your top score, Dex? Seventeen. So yeah, you'll you'll match it if you get everything right <laughs> from now on. Oh, I can't get higher? Oh nah. We got three left. You'll only get to seventeen if you get those three. So seventeen's your your tippy point. I've peaked at seventeen in many <laughs> maybe, not even confirmed, just so far in life. Are we in, Kevin? Yeah. What you got, Kevin? Uh, Sabu. What we got, Dex? Show me. He's right, and I wrote Show the me. wrong thing. Show me what you got. Dex. I wrote Raven beat Sandman. That's one of them, but it's not the last one. It's Sabu. He's right. He's it right. is Sabu. So, so. Absolutely right. Kevin to his eleventh <laughs> point here. Uh, well yeah. done. So Dex is not matching his score now. That, I knew it. It was my own arrogance too. Good man. Good man, Kevin. That's how all the champions fall. They get too cocky. <laughs> yeah, for real. I, I thought it was going to be something obscure and not like one of the best barbed wire matches of all time. You know? <laughs> Number 19. What event did Ric Flair defend the Intercontinental title against Triple H? Ooh. Wow hear that episode out there and it's making me laugh.
I was going to say, do you need a year? But presumably you need a year. <laughs> Unless... I don't know about here. I just know. I think I know the pay-per-view, so I'll put that. You know, give me the pay-per-view. I'll be nice. Throw me a year if you, if you want to get saucy, but uh, I'll, I'll give it to you regardless. Oh. Always so looking can... to get Huh? No, I'm not going to put a point. Uh, yeah, if it's not worth a point. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying, I won't, I won't knock it if you want to throw in a, a year just for fun. Fair. Man, I can't believe I got that question wrong. It's like one of my favorite matches too. I just remember that that not as good no barbed wire match between Raven and Sandman. Because Sandman was in it. <laughs> Ready? Are we, Are we in, Jets? Yes. Kevin, show me, show me. Taboo Tuesday, 2005. The X? I also went with Taboo Tuesday. Yeah, today. And you both were right on the year, by the way. You both had it. Number 20. We now go into one of my favorite uh, trivia questions, and that's movies and wrestling. Hey. Two of the three wrestlers that appear in the movie, Wrong Side of Town. Oh! One of the worst movies of the year, in my opinion. Yeah, it's not great. It is it's far from not great. <laughs> <laughs> I should say name all three, see if you know the obscure one, because two of them are pretty famous. One of them is kind of not Oh, obscure, I thought you wanted but... all three. Give me all three if you know them. Okay. If not, I, I was good go with at least two, the main two, but. I don't I, know. I just say, I don't know. I think any of this is helping Kevin, though. <laughs> <laughs> Your punishment for losing, Kevin, is watch wrong side of town. <laughs> I can only name two, actually. I've guessed two wrestlers that have been in films. Kevin, who's I've... been in films? Well, <laughs> these both have been in other films, by the way. Yeah, I've oh, only well, got two. I'm feeling Kevin. more confident then. I put The Big Show and Batista. You're half right. Batista's one of them. Dexter, what you got? <laughs> uh, I got two wrestlers, and I was going to write Stormy Daniels because I knew she was in it, and I knew Ja Rule was in it, but I wrote Batista and Rob Van Dam. Yes, Batista, Ram and Dam is indeed the main two that are in it. Uh, that gives Dexter his 16th point. The uh, third one, by the way, was good old Mabel, Big Daddy V, Viscera. Was also, really? Yeah. He's not on the cover. Ja Rule gets on the cover, but uh, he's also one of the gangsters early on. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, yes, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps things up. Tremendous matchup by both. In the end, though, Kevin oh. with a very respectable 12. Dexter. Coming in at 16 here. Jensen, Kevin. Good hard fought match here. Kevin, now you know how it feels like to be the rest of us with a taste of defeat, but it was a tremendous match. That's not a diss, it's the same. As a no. tremendous match. <laughs> Nonetheless, any parting words, Mr. B? Uh, well, 12 is my joint best score, so I, I'm, I can't really be upset with myself. <laughs> no, not at all. Dexter. I'm upset with myself because I didn't get that Sabu answer that you got. I Oh, man, it's driving me nuts. Because but... I got one that you didn't get. You're upset. <laughs> no, not even that. It's it's my own fault. I'm not even upset that you got it. I'm upset that I thought it was going to be – I thought he was going to obscure me because Jordan tries to do that sometimes, not all the time. So I thought this might have been that moment. I'm like, oh, I remember Raven and Sandman. But, yeah, Kevin, it was fun. I would love to do this again with you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You probably enjoyed it more than I did, I think. Oh, it's all fun. <laughs> don't, don't, don't pull up Steve Mesa. Hi, Steve Mesa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe I'm good for Intercontinental Championship. Oh. <laughs> there you the, go. Uh, WWE TV Championship coming TV. soon. <laughs> all right, Dexter Beckett, any parting words? Still the champion, late champion. Uh, uh um, Fun defense, Kevin. You are very worthy, very, very worthy. Hence, why I would like to do this again with you. Um, 
I always have fun. Thank you again for having me. And let's keep doing this. Let's keep it going. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for Kevin B, for Dexter B, this is Jordan C saying we love you more than you'll ever know. And also, uh, lie, cheat, and steal. Thank you. Good night.